If there's a crown jewel in the solar system, I don't think anyone would disagree that it's Saturn. There are four planets in the solar system that have rings, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. But it's Saturn's rings that rule them all. Galileo discovered Saturn's rings in 1610, and in the 400 years since then, we have learned quite a bit about them. They stretch over 150,000 miles across, almost 20 times the size of the Earth. And they're not solid like a frisbee or a disc. They're actually composed of countless chunks of ice. And these chunks are constantly colliding gently. And now they range in size from as small as a grain of salt up to a few dozen yards across, about the size of a small house. Now incredibly, despite their enormous breadth, they're phenomenally thin. To scale, they're actually thinner than a piece of paper. Nobody knows the origin of the rings. They may have formed when two small moons collided and shattered, or maybe incoming comets pelted the moons and ejected icy particles into orbit around Saturn. Besides the rings, Saturn is orbited by a retinue of moons. One of them, called Mimas, is 240 miles across, and it orbits Saturn just outside of the rings. Over millions of years, the gravity of Mimas has actually carved a gap in the rings called the Cassini Division. But how can a moon which orbits outside the rings carve a gap inside the rings? Well, it has to do with orbits. The particles are closer to Saturn than Mimas, and so they orbit it more quickly. So for a particle at a certain distance from Saturn, it orbits the planet twice for every time Mimas goes around once. And what this means is that Mimas repeatedly and periodically tugs on that particle. Well, any particle at that distance from Saturn will feel that tug. And over millions of years, Mimas pulls those particles out of the way, leaving a gap behind. And Saturn has lots of moons. By the same process, this has endowed its rings with thousands of gaps. A few large ones, but most small. Other smaller moons orbit inside the ring system as well. Prometheus and Pandora are on very similar orbits, and they actually guide the particles in Saturn's F-ring like traffic cops, pulling errant particles back into line. The rings still hold plenty of mysteries. Dark spokes come and go in the rings, probably caused by static electricity affecting tiny dust particles there. Then there are waves and ripples, and of course, the origin of the rings still remains their biggest secret. The Cassini spacecraft has been orbiting Saturn since 2004, and it's returned the best images and videos yet of Saturn's magnificent ring system. And it's a good thing we're doing this now because, well, Saturn's rings may have a finite lifetime. Meteor impacts and other forces may be eroding the rings away faster than the collisions between the ice particles can replenish them. And so you better soak in this view while you can. In 20 or 30 million years, it might be gone.